Well, ladies and gentlemen, do not get on the bus after 3 a.m. Welcome to The Last Bus, today's random horror game. And uh, this might just be a three random horror game series. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna play this one out, but uh, here we are, we're arriving at the bus stop. Of course, you know there's gonna be some freak that's waiting for us, about three minutes left. Okay, and what the heck is in the garbage can that's making the flies attack it? All right, well, you know, we just sit here and wait or okay <laughs> i was gonna say curiosity kills the cat we go down the the little perfectly cut out path i don't love that for us I, I feel like somebody's gonna come from that direction so maybe we'll just sit like this like leaned up like you guys ever just like lean up on the on a pole about three minutes left still i can walk this way though so it makes me wonder and i can walk in the street don't want to get hit by a bus, but there's got to be some things to explore. Oh. Uh, sir? Just a person waiting for the bus. No! Where on earth did that man come from? Right, let's not get hit by the bus. Hello, kind sir. What are you doing? Oh, you don't want to talk? You're just dressed like Inspector Gadget? Waiting for a bus, huh? All right, I'm gonna watch you from across the street, but you know what? Let me check. We got what? Two minutes? Two minutes left. I feel like this game is making me put a lot of attention on him, and then something's gonna come from over here. Where did you come from, kind sir? Can I ask you a question? Oh, I like how you just are staring at me. You're you have very tiny hands. Do you have nubs? Do you have hands? Do you just have nubs? I don't think I really have to worry about him pulling out a knife if he only has nubs. Unless, spoiler alert, he has a nub with a giant saber on the other side, like a knife. Hello there. I don't know if I said that or you. What brings you here so late? Hmm. You don't want to talk, do you? Is that me talking or him? I feel like it's me talking to him. Hello? You don't want to talk to me at all? How about this? Wait. No. No. I have a bottle of beer with me. Well, that's definitely you saying it then. Maybe that can change your mind? Nah, I... It's kind of random. Just have a... Come on then, take a sip. Where is it? I don't... S I don't see it. Where, do you, where are you keeping it, chief? Alright, I'll take a little sip. Don't mind if I do. One of three endings. You went missing. Your body was never found. Really? That... Don't love that for us, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, let's try not to drink the beer now. Okay, so... He's back to waiting on the bus. He is across the street. Now this time, I feel like... So... Alright, I'm just gonna say it, guys. I think the other ending is when the bus shows up and we're on the other side of the street, we just miss the bus. Uh, so I'm going to try not to let that happen. Instead, I'm going to actually cross the street. And instead of taking the beer. Dang it. I'm just going to, like, sit over here. Give him some space, you know? So when he asks me if I want to have a beer, I'm just not going to talk to him. And we're going to sit over here, stranger dangering about, you know, COVID rules, like six feet. Hey, kid. Well, that's different, right? Did he say that before? Why are you out at night? That's different. I don't know. You're not a talker, are you? No. Wait a second. I'm a kid and you offered me beer, you weirdo? Alright, I'm gonna... How about this? Was he gonna give me a Beyblade or something? There's this bottle of beer I have. No, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. Maybe that will make you talk. No? No? I'm pretty sure you roofied that beer. Come on, then. Take a sip. Nah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. You just came from the forest in a trench coat and are trying to take a bus in the middle of the night. Yeah, I think I'm okay. What the heck was that? Okay, just, just stay over there. The bus is going to be here any minute. Now, if he looks at me, guys, I'm, I'm booking it. Good. So far, so good. You're making a mistake. 
The bus is here. Nope. Let me stay here. I'm gonna get in the back side here. You stay over there, all right? But get in the bus. Two out of three endings. You made it home safely. Holy crap. All right, so then the third ending, I guarantee you, is that you missed the bus. You don't get on the bus. You stay around because you're too curious to see what's gonna happen. So we stay over here, let the bus go by. I guarantee you that is the third ending. So, I mean, eh, kind of boring. We already know that's probably the third ending. Let's head over to the next game. All right, guys, so our next game is not alone. It is about a character who falls asleep at work and decides to walk home late at night. However, somebody's watching him and possibly following him. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. Uh, I like these short horror games. I really do. Even the basic, like something fills my heart with the basicness of games like this. All right, here we go. It's too late. I should head home. Of course, we fell asleep. You know what, though? We're getting paid. We were getting paid while we were asleep. So we're the real winners here. I can't. Oh, there we go. Uh, probably the elevator. Am I in the elevator? What's going on? Nope. All right. Forget the elevator. How do I get out of this place? Is there some stairs? This looks like an exit sign. Maybe. Nope. Oh, here we go. All right. Cab. The psychopath serial killer was spotted in the streets again. Everyone advised to lock their doors and turn off the lights. Read more. All right. What would you guys do in this situation? Because for me, I'm kind of a chicken. I feel like I would go right back inside, lock the door to the office, and just spend the night at the office. But you know how game logic works, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to ignore that and just try and head home. No cars on the street. Press Q to look behind you. Do I have a rear view mirror? Why don't I just turn around? I feel like turning around is better. Oh, this is actually really creepy. I have a map? How do I get home? I don't know how to... I don't know where my house is. Standing really close to the, the side of the alleyway here. Oh my god, I actually have chills. Such a simple concept, but so horrifying at the same time. Oh, the police. Should be safe here. Oh, yeah. I, I press F to turn on the flashlight. Oh. Isn't that just beautiful? We just happen to have a flashlight with us. Okay. Look behind. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh oh. This isn't good. Oh, what the? Why would we even decide to come in this house? How do I open this? I'm so scared right now. I'm actually so scared. Oh. Why are we in this house? Why did why why do we even make this decision? This is so random. This is so random. I just broke into somebody's house. This is not... It's not my house. Okay, we're fine. We are fine. As fine can be. I guess we're going upstairs. Does that make sense? Upstairs in the abandoned house. A lot of heavy breathing here. That door's locked. This game escalated so quickly. We went from hanging out in the office to potentially being in a hobo's house. What the heck, dude? Is he in the bathroom? I don't, I'm, I'm so scared, dude. I guess we go back downstairs. What? There's more stairs, dude. How big is this house? Okay, the door's locked. We're dead. The house is just a, a decoy. It's a setup. Why don't the? 
I can't even leave. I mean, we could potentially leave the way we came in. Nope. For some reason, we don't know how to crawl up anymore. Or climb up. Okay. This is so bad. What is this? Oh. Yeah, that would be a cool hiding spot to just hide, but... You guys know game logic. Okay. I guess what I'm confused about is... Is this my house? Alright, we probably need to find a key to get in the, the locked door. I can't open up these drawers. So... I guess we're gonna go back up. Potentially just... Oh, there we go. Hi! Grab the key, dude. There we go. Okay. No need to fear. That's not the door? Okay, that's still there. Gotta be for the door all the way at the top of the stairs. Why am I so scared right now? I'm petrified. What? It's not for that door either? Wait. What? Was that door open before? I don't know what this key is for then. I guess it's really not for oh it is for this door L to okay did I even uh, do I even get a chance to run or this man just automatically knifed me All right, let's try this again run for your life run for your life run for your life so hard to tell what's going on. The police! 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 They're not even here, are they? Of course not. Alright. Okay. So we died again. So I guess you don't run towards the police because they're absolutely useless. Maybe we run all the way back to the office. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay. Here we go. He sent me like a text or something midway through this. All right, let's just die again. I actually don't want to. I don't know what to do. Okay, run, 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 run. All right, so when we get down here, I guess we can try and go left again and not get caught by him. There we go. That's a tighter turn. Okay, uh, I'm looking for anything that makes sense here. I don't even see him behind me anymore. Okay, this has got to be our house. Yes. All right, so we made it. Phase two. What? Did I just get a knife? I need to lock the door with something quick. Dude, there's so many things. Block it with the freaking couch. Block it with anything. I can't. It literally doesn't let me block it with anything. Block it with the couch! Okay, I'm turning on the flashlight, of course. Okay, or hide under the bed. Probably not a good idea. We've all played the- Why- Why are doors- He's in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. Is he in the house? Get the door, dude. Just get upstairs. Is this a safe room? Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. The chair in the kitchen? Should I go back down? All right. Well, I mean, it's suggesting it, so. Wait, no. What? I forgot how, to get, how I got up here. Okay, here we go. Go reinforce the door with a chair in the kitchen. Uh, okay. Here we go. Left mouse button to throw. There we go. Boom. All right, now let's run upstairs and hide in the locker. Because I feel like under the bed is so, like, cliche. Everybody hides under the bed. 
What is this? Oh yeah, this is the bedroom, I think. Uh oh, he's in the house. Come on, come on, come on. No! Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing, guys. He turned off the power to the house. Nah, we shouldn't check it. Cause it's gonna light up the, it's gonna light up the locker, right? Am I making the right choice here? Don't check the phone, right? Oh, he's looking around. You can hear him opening up doors. Holy crap, this is actually scary. He doesn't come up here. There's no way. We're in like a safe room, literally like a safe room. <laughs> I like how we put the chair there and he instantly knocked it over. Okay, I check the phone. I feel like it's again, guys. Same thing to the last game. Curiosity kills the cat. Oh, uh, we can hide or leave. Hmm. Let's leave. Go, no, baby. Kind of weird. Come on. Oh, what the? Is he running away from me? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wow. Um, yeah, that doesn't make sense, guys. There's no way he was in two places at freaking once. He killed me in two spots at once. Uh, does the game just get frozen like this? All right, I guess the game is just frozen. So that was not alone. Not a bad game, to be honest. I actually enjoyed that one. Let's go ahead over to game number three. All right, guys, so the last game in today's video is Mason. It basically is about a man finding out if he is a killer or a good person, and we play as that actual man. And I think based on our dialogue, we find out at the end exactly what we are. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. This one is really short, by the way. Okay, well, we're off to a bad start, guys. We're in the police station, and there's a bloody bat on the desk. <laughs> Apparently, you haven't been cooperative with my guys, yet I still took off your cuffs, right? Okay, this is a good cop, guys. This is the good cop. Yes, you did. Officer Finch. I said it a thousand times. I am innocent, Officer Finch. Let me go. Look, we are searching for the body. If we find it, you have no choice but to tell the truth. Mason, the fingerprints on your weapon belong to you. The only suspect is you. It says you, Mr. Finch. I told you the bat is mine, but I haven't used it since high school, and I own and only during baseball games. And the reason that there's blood on it is um three days ago I actually broke up with me and I had to leave the house with all my stuff there, including the bat. You didn't say that during an interrogation. You had the motive. Admit it, Mason. You are done. He went bad cop on us real quick. I'm telling you now this. I'm telling you this now because you took off my cuffs. I have nothing to hide. As I said, I was at the pub all night. But I gotta go. Why isn't her boy, her new boyfriend accused of anything? He clearly hates me publicly. Her current boyfriend was out of town. He has an alibi. Now are we going to pretend that you have one? I told Officer Williams about the location of the pub. He will bring the alibi and the story will end with me free of all charges. A bold act requires a high degree of confidence, which you certainly have, Mason. That's sus. Okay, there's no way the cop just said I'm sus. <laughs> Officer Finch, sorry to interfere, but Mason was at the pub 10 hours ago. The alibi is confirmed. He is clear, sir. Gotcha. Thank you, Officer Williams. Please do not interrupt me next time. So, Mason, where, where were we? What else do you want me to say? You have no right to keep me here any longer, do you? We got your fingerprints. You got represent... Oh... You, you chose to represent your truth without a lawyer. Now deal with the consequences. You will stay here or transfer to the cell until we find the body or recover any new information about Ashley. Fine. I won't disrespect your decision. Yet, you should know that after all this, you owe me a big effing apology. You kiss your mother with that mouth. What happened to Mr. Confident there, Mason? Don't worry. We have a blanket to the cell. All right, I'm assuming they're going to put us in jail now. What do you guys think? 11 hours earlier, we're holding the bat. I'm walking towards the woman. Hey, Ashley. I got one thing to tell you. Never. What the heck is going on inside of your mouth? <laughs> Never. In your life. What the heck 
Is she drooling? Break up with Mason, baby girl. All right. Well, spoiler alert. I was a killer. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's three random horror games. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you do, make sure you hit that like button. And by the way, before we head out, check out some of these videos. Anyways, guys, peace out.